I made it to the delivery bay. Good. See that command post next to the gate? You should be able to open things up for me from there. Dusk, you're up. On it. Once I've got their attention, you go find what we came for and slap on this fancy new delivery label. Got it? Hey, you in the truck. What are you doing here? I'm just here for a pickup, man. Pickup? What are you talking about? There's no pickup on the schedule. Well, check it again. I, I gotta be on there. You really think I'd drive all the way out to the ass end of nowhere if I didn't have a pickup? All right, all right. But I'm gonna have to search that truck. According to the intel we received, the crates of explosives should be stored around here. Alright, Dusk. The delivery label's been switched. Then it's time for us to get the hell out of Dodge. Wait. I smell something. Give me a minute to check it out. I knew I smelled it. Silver. Whoever ordered this intends to kill Garu. Dusk. They're shipping out silver bullets. You know what that means. Change of plans? Change of plans. I need to find out who's buying these bullets and why. Buy me some more time.
Klaus is meeting with upstairs. She's from Andrin, here for the special order. The silver bullets? Who even uses that shit? Is she picking up some golden guns while she's at it? You know what they say, the client is king, especially when the client is loaded. loaded. Our thing's on your end. Shouldn't be much longer. waiting or paying clearly you're not getting anything until Endrin is paid up you can tell that to your president Watkins in person I don't think you understand what's at stake here <laughs> oh I understand that you've just been attacked and you're looking to hit back I also understand that you need our ammunition to do that and we've got that ammunition right downstairs ready and waiting to go as soon as you've paid us Sorry, Major. The business is business. Well, fuck you two. Then we'll attack Tarker's mill without your help. And rest assured, Mr. Watkins will hear about this. Tarker's mill. Hey! You and I need to talk. Now, die! <sighs> Bollocks! Security! Alert! <laughs> Dusk. What the fuck are you doing, Go? I just had to pop a couple guards who wanted to put a bullet in my head. Get the fuck back here already. Sorry, but I didn't have a choice. Keep the engine running. We're out of here as soon as I get back. from that sector. Take your positions, people. Maximum alert until the situation's clear.
spot. What do we do? Stop the truck. What's even down there? My home. Dusk, stay out of this. Wait! Call! Rodko! Rodko, they've cleared our northern line. They have an exo. We'll take care of the wounded later. 
We have to stop them. Let's go! Move! <laughs> Tell me, where's Adana? Don't worry, Kahal. Your daughter didn't fight this battle. How are your wounds? Riddled with silver. They'll take days to heal. But things would have been far worse if you hadn't stepped in. I just did what I had to do. Nothing more. I honestly never thought I'd see your face again. Why'd you come back, Kahal? I heard that the Cairn was going to be attacked. I was afraid for you. For Adana. And how did you hear that? I overheard Endrin talking about it on my last job. I may have left Tarker's mill, but I never turned my back on it. I couldn't just abandon you. You found it easy enough five years ago. Your Cairn and your daughter have always needed you. I tried to tell you that. Where is she, Rodgo? With Ava. Working undercover at the biggest Indran site in the Pacific Northwest. Best option available to us after the failure of our last mission. Your last mission? What do you mean? You remember the old abandoned mine not far from here? Indran bought it and turned it into a training center for their new recruits. I launched an attack to wipe them out, but Tank Girl stopped us. The woman you saw in the Exo during the attack, she drove us back. Tank girl, you call her. I encountered her during my last mission. She was trying to buy silver bullets from an arms dealer. That's where I learned she was planning an attack on the Cairn. Major Grainer. That's the name her men give her. But to us, she's Tank Girl. And she leads Endron's troops with about as much grace. Their attack on the Cairn was their first wave of revenge for our attack on the training center. We managed to repel them this time, but it's only a temporary victory. They might return at any moment, and Endrin just keeps recruiting soldiers. Then we've got to go back to the mine and destroy their training center. It's the only way to buy the Cairn any sort of safety, no matter how brief. We're back. No. Not until I'm well again. Then we can strike. I'll take care of that goddamn training center myself. You know I can handle it on my own. No. You're no longer a part of this pack. It's my responsibility. And how long will it take for you to get better? Days? Weeks? If they return, the cairn will fall. Huh. I'll think about it. Go pay your respects to your Fen, and come back to me. Then, we'll talk about the mine. The Cairn is in a bad way. Zero. 
curious. But how? She was in the back, tending to the wounded. It has been many a year since I last felt your presence, warrior of Gaia. It's been nearly as long since anyone called me that. Your cairn needs you, and the wild has need of your protection. The Eater of Souls is fighting with all his might to take control of it. And he is winning. The corruption takes many forms, but the effects are always the same. You must help us fight back. I came back to find my daughter. Have you seen her? Ah, Madonna. A dear friend. And always respectful of nature. You fear for her safety then? She too is fighting for Gaia. In her own way. But do not worry. You both walk the same path. You will find each other in time. To fight your battles, you will need power. Power I can provide by helping you develop your warrior gifts. Thank you, Ifen. You may find lost spirits during your travels. Return to me, and I will be able to strengthen your natural abilities. One last request before you depart. Many of your kin fell in combat. I would ask you to bury them. You will find their bodies both inside and around the cairn. Your penumbra vision will show you the way. Soothe their souls and send them to me, so that they may travel to the wild without being captured by the worm. I will if I can. But my priority is Endrin's training center. Weaken the forces of the worm there, but never forget your brothers and sisters. Gaia needs you. Broadgo's changed his mind. lost a lot of blood. I don't know if he'll make it through the night. 
Has anyone told his wife yet? She... She's gone. She bled out just before they shot her. I went to see Fen. He's gotten so weak. Please, Rotko, let me help you. Let me deal with this training center. Why is it that you care now, Kahal? We were so easy to ignore when we went right in front of you. What? You want to be part of the pack again? I want to help the pack. I want to protect Adana. But you don't intend to rejoin us. I've already given into rage and killed one of our kin, Rodgo. I can't take the risk of doing it again. You already know I disagree. Nonetheless, we are united by those we mourn. So I'll accept your help. So what can you tell me about this so-called training center? Ava managed to get a hold of the mine blueprints to help us prepare for our previous attack. The site's weak point is its power supply. They apparently haven't had the time to give it a proper upgrade. The whole thing is powered by one big propane tank, just like it was when it was a mine. I see. So if I blow up the tank, the whole mine will cave in, taking the training center with it. I am indeed. Your friend gave me the explosives that you stole as soon as he arrived. Dusk is here? Yeah. He arrived just after the attack. Don't worry. I asked the humans to look after him. We've still got a problem, though. You don't know the layout of the site, and I'm too injured to go with you. Huh. I don't like touching the stuff, but I suppose I'll use Ava's radio equipment to guide you. That should do the trick. Perfect. So we'll stay in radio contact. Take the explosives and go. Good luck, Kahal. Dusk, my friend. I owe you. Those assholes show themselves just fire. They're currently recruiting at their training center. Then perhaps I need to enlist. They're supplying people with it must be worth a fortune. Tell me about it. I mean, pump action rifles with holographic sights. You here to enlist? Absolutely, that's the spirit. Did you register on our website? No, nah, I prefer to do things in person. Can't say I blame you. What's your name? Kahal Fillin. Kahal Fillin. Hell of a name. There you go. You're on the list. All right, then. Go report to the instructor for testing. He's in the warehouse. Oh, and one last thing. Looking at you, it's pretty obvious you've done some time. Try not to mention that. The instructor hates ex-cons. This way. Control, I've got a candidate for you. Welcome. If you're looking to sign up, you have to talk to the instructor. Head over to that building in the courtyard. Caught one of Endron's new ads on TV last night. They've even got a brand new slogan. Greener action serving the biosphere. Damn. There's nothing they won't wash off. Tell me about it. Couldn't be further away from... to be recruited. You? <laughs> How'd you make it through the physical without breaking a hip? 
All right, Gramps. Let me just find you on the list here. The name's Mitchell. No Mitchell on my list. I'm warning you now. We don't take kindly to recruits who fuck around. So, what's your story? <laughs> Death is a blessing. You should see a command post overlooking the waiting room. You'll have a computer inside and a service door leading into the mine. That computer will allow you to open the service door and cut communications with the lower floor. The people in the training center will have no idea what's going on just above their heads. Hostile in sight! <clears throat> 